this is Matt Benson with Pioneer. Hey, 2018 has really thrown us some challenges in crop production. Um, it's really been a tough year to grow corn or soybeans. One, uh, one thing I'd like to highlight, uh, the thing that we've seen um, in a little higher incidence this year in soybean production has been uh, sudden death syndrome. Um, sudden death syndrome is, is a soil borne you know, fungal disease that attacks soybeans early. Um, really doesn't show the effects on the bean until probably late July to early August when you start to see uh, areas of fields yellow up. Uh, get a little chlor chlorotic, chlorotic looking, um, you know, and just basically start to die off, just like the name says, sudden death. They just, they just die. Um, we've really seen a lot of uh, uh, instances of that this year. Um, just want to talk a little bit today about, you know, some of the things of why we're seeing that and some things you can do to uh, to prevent that. Um, so some of the things as we're nearing harvest here, uh, I kind of wanted to show. You know, this is a this is a plant that's that's been affected early, um, died off, hasn't really been been allowed to uh, you know fill those top pods out they're awfully flat uh, a lot of those might get thrown back through the combine and never make it uh, never make it into the grain tank um, whereas we've got some other areas of the field that look very robust um, you know pods are still filling and that kind of thing um, so there's some high high yield uh, potential in some of these beans in some of these areas there's not so you know this year we, we had a lot of challenges in the springtime um, um, many Many areas were just too darn wet, uh, saturated. You know, it likes those type of things. Um, typically, earlier planted soybean fields will will be attacked more by SDS. Um, also, so, uh, soybean cyst nematodes uh, impact SDS very very much as well. Um, as we look at areas of the fields that have got more soybean cysts uh, pressure in them, those are areas that will uh, will show up with SDS um, much more prevalently. So some things you know we can do is obviously controlling soybean cyst nematode in fields. If you know you've got SDS in a field from two years ago or you know you've got it this year, isolate those fields, know where you've got it. Um, you know, some things that, that, that uh, a, a producer can do uh, is, is, is varietal selection. Varietal selection is a big deal um, you know, in, in stopping this disease or at least uh, uh, keeping it from being a big yield penalty uh, on your farm. Um, you know, just basically looking at uh, looking at selecting the right variety with high yield um, doing the right thing with with uh, cyst rotations and cropping rotations is a big deal um, drainage if you've got poor drainage and, and might need to uh, address some of those areas uh, as well in your fields there are also things that can that can impact that um, there are some seed treatments uh, such as Elevo um, that we offer on our pioneer uh, uh, beans um, that have shown some very, very promising results uh, as far as controlling this disease. Um, I just, it's very important to understand if you have it, where you have it, um, and the things that you need to do to manage that. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.